मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एंड द फाइनेस्ट पोयम्स द टाइटल इज स्मॉल टाउन्स एंड रिवर्स सो दिस ब्यूटीफुल पोयम इज डेफिनेटली रिटर्न बाय ममांग दाई Mamang Tai is the poetess of small towns and rivers. This is the last poem in this textbook, especially in our twelfth standard textbook. This is the last one. So, Mamang Tai. First of all, I would like to give the introduction of Mamang Tai, the poetess. She was a novelist, journalist, poetess, former civil servant. So, she has done so many good things. perfectly she commanded over especially on english language as, as well as adi language so she was uh, not at all she was in today's condition uh, in today's condition she is alive she born in 1957 itanagar means itanagar is in arunachal pradesh especially her village is pasi ghat mind it well she is a multi talented woman all rounder woman okay so village you know very well pasighat in the same way she has written the beautiful poems the collection of the collection of the poems name the river poems in the river poems this is the collection of the poems so this poem is included in this collection of the poem the river poems our title is that small towns and the rivers so adi language means aboriginal language mind it well so now once again because of her uh, 100% dedication in the literature she has received sahitya academy award in the stream in the same way padma shri award so poem central idea is that small town you know very well small town is the title so this is the central idea in the same way you know very well the pasi ghat i have mentioned here pasi ghat pasi ghat is the village is the town it is the small town and there is also a river but there is not at all the name of that river okay so she described landscape and nature in this beautiful poem she described landscape means natural greenery mountains trees everywhere beautiful atmosphere natural atmosphere creates very well by her in this beautiful poem now we are going to move line to line description of that poem in english to english just pay proper attention now first stanza small towns always remind me of death my home town lies calmly amidst the trees it is always the same in summer or winter with the dust flying or the wind howling down the gorge so now in the very beginning of the stanza there is the pathetic condition created by the writer <coughs> she said that it's a her village is small one so always remind me of death <coughs> because of her village she reminds again and again that particular village because of the maximum death so death occurs maximum there that's why so my hometown lies calmly amidst the trees and my hometown my hometown is situated here there are maximum trees around my home means she lives in natural atmosphere she lives natural atmosphere around her trees mountains valleys different types of natural things surrounded around her house she lives in natural beauty we can say that's why she is very much influenced by natural greenery she loves deeply on the nature so river is the part of nature in the same way small town is the part of nature we can say so it is always the same in summer or winter with the dust flying so you know where it is always same means you know very well so there is the village there is not at all too much uh, development so one can one can't find a development in the especially in the village so in winter also in the summer also in both the seasons one can find village same which village pasi ghat village according to her and or the wind howling down the gorge and everywhere gorge gorge means valleys gorge means valleys mind it well 
and in that valley is the air forcefully wanders here and there and there is the sound howling zoom zoom like that so there is the figure of speech onomatopoeia beautiful first stanza we have finished now we are going to move towards the second stanza look pay attention just the other day someone died in the dreadful silence we wept looking at the sad wreath of the tuberoses life and death life and death only the rituals are permanent so there is once again pathetic condition pathetic conditions comes in our mind just the other uh, day someone died then one after one one after the day is passing but with what with the definitely after one day what happen death occur there because of some reason okay so death occur then what happen in the dreadful silence we wept and because of the death regular death occurs in her village that's why maximum people they are in too much deep grief and they weep again and again also our poet is weep again and again looking at the sad wreath of the tube roses maximum people when someone dies then maximum people comes and they tribute with the tube roses uh, garland we can say round shape garlands so as a uh, you know very well so we put this garland on the dead body so this is the regular ritual permanent it means the death occur again and again continuously it is the ritual then you know very well after our death there is the ritual there is a formality you know very well so now life and death this struggle always comes in her life in the life of the people who lives in the pasiga so this is beautiful description now we are going to move third stanza now third stanza page turn your page now the river has a soul there is the river but poet hasn't mentioned the name of that river that's why i am unable to tell you if you uh, check in google then you come to know that easily i will also search it but you must try it so the river has a soul in the summer it cuts through the uh, through the land like a torrent of grief sometimes sometimes i think it holds its breath seeking a land of fish and stars okay so uh, there is the personification figure of speech used by the poet very well skillfully used now the river has a soul actually soul you know very well man has a soul living things has a soul but there is river and river has soul now in the summer it cuts through the land you know very well in summer vacation what happen then maximum water dries up okay maximum river dries up and because of dries up there is the uh, there is what happen cuts through cuts through happens there maximum water destroy maximum water vanished evaporates due to the uh, sun rays so what happen then there uh, sometimes sometimes i think it holds its breath seeking the land land of fish and star there is not at all any uh, a drop of water then stagnant water may be but that particular river is uh, seeking for the star uh, stars and the fish especially she is eagerly waiting for the arrival of the rain but you, you know very well in summer vacation it is impossible uh, impossible of raining but she is thinking means here, here there is the pathetic condition of the river river is thinking about the rain but she didn't get any rain shower there at that time so that that's why she is in too much deep grief who is in uh, too much deep grief that particular river which name hasn't mentioned by the poet here now we are going to move Uh, next stanza the river has a soul once again this stanza also begins with the the river has a soul same as the above stanza begin so it knows the stretching past the town then particular that particular river passing and stretching near that particular town means pasi ghat from the first drop of the rain to dry earth first drop of the rain means you know very well first drop of the rain it is the beginning of the raining in the same way and the day earth means here we can say just like the deserts just like the but here poets has to say that 
then here dry earth means especially day so the, she has maximum many more experiences who has she has means especially that river has many experiences many days she observes okay because she always flows near that particular pasi ghat so now and mist on the mountain top because of the rain drops what happen then uh, surface of the water evaporates due to the ray, uh, due to the rays of the sun and it evaporates and then particular that ev uh, evaporation means that water goes up towards the reach uh, towards the mountain tops so this is beautiful creation sketch and written by the writer very well which creates visual things in front in front of us in the same way in our mind the river knows the immortality of water and river knows the immortality of water what is the importance of water she knows one day definitely water will come and that particular surface of the water will once again come arise means here death maximum death will be definitely maximum words will be vanish and minimum words will become there means pathetic condition will be lost anyhow and good condition happy condition will be create here okay maybe such type of the background behind it i think that okay so i just trying now we are going to move the another stanza next stanza a shrine of the happy pictures mark the days of childhood so she used to live in the pasighat at the moment you know very well when we live uh, in some of the village at the moment uh, many uh, different types of memories comes again and again in our mind in the same way that childhood incident comes in our in a her mind in that particular mamang dai's mind shrine means holy place that particular pasighat is the holy place according to her and mark the days of childhood small towns grow with anxiety for the future definitely uh, that particular village will be grow uh, is in, in today's condition it's growing very well and then what happen anxiety creates there why anxiety because because of the development maximum natural atmosphere collapse and definitely when maximum atmosphere natural air natural thing natural trees and natural mountain each and everything each and every things of the natural related to natural beauty they will destroy that's why she has definitely much worries about the nature of that pasi ghat which is in the pasi ghat especially the dead are plan pointing west when the soul rises it will walk into the golden into the house of the rain and there is the rituals of the aborigine tradition aborigine people aborigine or aborigine means adivasi adi adi language used here so the dead are the place to pointing west and the when a person dies then it uh, that particular body is put towards the west side and when the soul rises and you know very well it is said that the soul rises soul rises uh, from that particular dead body it will walk into the golden east and it will walk then that particular uh, soul that particular power then it rises up and it goes towards where toward the golden east especially near the sun into the house of the sun means we can say there is the heaven after our death we don't know where our spirit goes but here that particular poet poet means mamang dai presented very well that rituals of the adi people means aborigine people so there is the aborigine tradition we can say creates very well in that stanza in the cool bamboo now last and the final stanza in the cool bamboo restored in sunlight where did she used to live in the pasighat where around her home everywhere which is surrounded her home is surrounded with the natural greenery just like the bamboo tree different types of trees but here bamboo used 
she says bamboo restored in sunlight and sunlight is so there is definitely sunlight but uh, uh, which type of sunlight relaxed sunlight means one can get happiness especially when we go to the village the natural atmosphere natural happiness uh, one can find in the village especially that's why village are villages are nice light matters like this they definitely here alliteration figure of speech used very well by the uh, poetess light matters like this and you know very well life is for just enjoying and we can enjoy in the village and that particular poetess has also enjoyed very well in the village there is the pathetic condition but in that pathetic condition she becomes happy in small towns by the river we all want to walk with the gods and definitely i used to do in that small particular town and there is the there is the river but there is not at all she has given the name of that particular river the so there is the river which passes Uh, through that particular area, and then we all want to walk with the gods. Here, gods means nature, mountains, uh, greenery, uh, also different types of trees. Okay, so we all want to walk with the gods, and we all want means the people of that particular Pasi Ghat, which is specially she has included in it, and we want to walk with the gods. Means nature gives us different types of experiences. Whether there are many problems, but I like that particular village and river. So this is one of the finest poem uh, of uh, Mamandai. I have tried my best for. Uh, explaining this so thanks for my uh, thanks for watching my video carefully thank you very much